Hokas are amazing for working out, by the way. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to a good old-fashioned thrift with us. So this thrift with us, even though you are just seeing me right now, is not just me. And for once lately, it is not a family bins bash. This is just a good old regular. Ryan and I are going to the bins, but as per usual, like you just saw, I have been going to the gym before the bins. So we drove separate, and I am here first since my gym is like halfway to the bins. So Ryan should be here shortly. And right after you see this intro from me, you will see one from Ryan as well. So my goals for today are, it'd be really fun to find a puffer coat from our winter ski puffer down bolo last week. I always think it'd just be so fun to like find one of the bolo brands right after we like talked about it. Oh my gosh, there's someone coming right next to my car. Anyways, let me just sit here talking to myself like a crazy person. So <laughs> my other goals would be some really cute sweaters, of course. I always like to get a bunch of really good stuff for consigning as well. And okay, the person's backing out so I can like not look like I'm losing. There's the car back there. Eeh! Um, and some fun shoes, maybe. How about a pair of bougie shoes? That's the goal, is a pair of like luxury shoes that I don't have to pay up for. Arbitrage, arbitrage, arbitrarily? Arbitragely? It'd be nice to find some bougie shoes for bins prices. So wish me luck on finding that stuff. Otherwise, that's kind of all my goals for the day. We will do a haul of this stuff on Thursday, which we're getting real close to Christmas then. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the Debbie birthday video, the family bins bash with Evan and I and Debbie and her second little haul. And also I hope you guys enjoyed What's On Saturday and the huge, but I'm gonna pop into the bins. Hopefully Ryan gets here shortly, but I will see you in there and he will see you right now. Hi everybody. Okay, this is like my fifth time I've done this intro. You are precariously perched on my dashboard behind a pink fuzzy dice. So anyway, I am at the bins. Da -da -da -da. You can't see Goodwill, but she's like, Right over here. I have not been here in like, I think two weeks. It was two Mondays ago from the Monday that Jack came with like Debbie and Evan and filmed his like really fun little family bins haul. I am so excited to be back. I have my little Y2K outfit on because I'm going to channel all of my good Depop finds. I have been having some amazing, amazing, amazing Depop karma in the past couple of times. I've been thrifting since coming to the bins. So I hope, I pray, and I wish, and I'm going to manifest that it carries over into this trip. But if I end up finding like, a Birkin, I'm definitely not going to be mad. Let's get into the bins. I have my lovely little Ikea bag, because what's a bin shirt without a lovely Ikea backpack? I hope we find something good. And the first thing I ended up getting was this really fun Gorpcore neon little camo jacket for Depop. This one, unfortunately, though, did have a pretty big stain on the inside, so I passed on it. So after my most recent switch out, Jack did give me some really fun things. These Willie Smith pants, which I do not know where that brand is from. I love the tie-dye. I love the low rise. I love this kind of like low-key flared moment. I think it's adorable. This is a little fossil bag. These mini bags do so good on Depop, especially if they're genuine leather. People love those. I found a ton of vintage lingerie. It was all like amazing brands, Victoria's Secret, you know, all the ones that I love, but unfortunately some of them did have some snags. So I did unfortunately have to pass on a fair number of those, which is really disappointing because they always do super good for me. That little Tahari top is just a really nice little cottagecore blouse. The girlies love these and they're very easy to ship. This was probably one of my absolute favorite finds from this entire trip, and it was given to me. It was handed to me by one of the very nice vintage kids that go to the bins pretty frequently. There is a little stain on it, and he didn't want to deal with it, and I said I would be more than happy to. It is this vintage. I haven't, like, really figured out a date. It's, like, 1970s, 1980s. If anybody knows anything about that brand, please tell me. Um, <laughs> little 7-Up sweater, and all I have to do is clean it, and I'm super excited. Snow White bag immediately caught my attention. I haven't been able to figure out where it's from yet, but either way, I still think the graphic is super adorable and I think it's gonna do super good. 
this is probably my most expensive retail find from this trip. It is a J. Crew and Universal Standard plus size puffer coat. I was super excited to find this. Entered in right onto a switch out that honestly did not look that good, but a different aisle had a bunch of coats in that aisle, which is right up my alley. My first find was this out from under hoodie that I'm going to grab and keep for Ryan. And under it, I found this skirt, which is actually by Abercrombie & Fitch. I do like to sell denim from Abercrombie & Fitch if it's newer. Of course, they decided to take away that coat aisle right as I was looking through it. And so I just frantically grabbed some stuff to look at while they were switching. And it was an H&M coat. This coat, I think, was just some random Kenzie coat. So nothing I quickly randomly grabbed was any good. But it was a bummer that they took this aisle because it seemed like it had some potential to it. One item I grabbed ended up being these really cute J. Crew pants, but unfortunately there was some splitting and a lot of wear in between the legs, so I did have to get rid of those. But I did score some Zaya. They then did a miscellaneous and hard goods switch out, so I decided to wait for that and look through it. I did find a few of these little Neopets plushies, and my brother and I used to play Neopets, so I grabbed them for him. I also thought that that toucan was Toucan Sam, and then later found out that he was a Disney toucan. So there's the difference between Ryan and I, and how much Ryan likes Disney, and how I know literally nothing about it. I also found these Furby keychains that I'm obsessed with. I used to love Furbies when I was a kid. I think I'm going to take them and actually use them as ornaments on the tree. This Furby had already grown quite the connection to me. Perfect for the girlies! Okay, after that last switch out, I actually did end up finding some pretty good things. This one, and it didn't look the greatest upon initial inspection, so like, thankfully I was able to find some stuff. I found this We The Free little thermal. I find one of these all the time. I found one on cloud running shoe, and it was almost my size, and I was like low-key really tempted if I found the other one. I never did, which really sucked. Um, then I might keep them. This was just like a really cute little Yankees fanny pack. It's kind of like, I think, supposed to be modeled after the Gucci ones. Either way, I know people like Yankee stuff, especially on Depop, if it's like that kind of aesthetic sportswear. There's that J. Crew coat. Um, these really cute Jeffrey Campbell's jack handed to me. I really like the leather, and I think if I just kind of like clean them up a little bit, they will be good. This was, I think, the oldest possible Club Monaco label that I've ever seen or I think has ever existed. <laughs> I honestly felt like such a bad reseller leaving this pair of hokas behind, but unfortunately they had literally run out of miles. They were so destroyed, they were so beat up. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't take them. And I left them. This was a very fun little pleasant surprise. So this is a pair of men's Tommy Bahama like 100% Pima Cotton, whatever, pajama pants. And I found a pair of these for my dad. And every time I see him, he's like, Ryan, I love those pants you got me. Jack threw this to me and it was this really cute, really nice, perfect for Depop, coffee brown, Harley Davidson vintage t-shirt. I honestly might wear this a couple of times myself because I think it's really cute. I really like the graphic on the front. This pair of pants that I found is so amazing. They check so many of my Depop boxes. It's this really perfect Y2K burgundy flared pair of low rise corduroy pants and they're not a size like four extra small. I'm pumped to find these. 
Okay, here are some things that I found after digging through a bin. This is just like, this wasn't a switch out, it was just a regular old bin. I found this beautiful little vintage slip, but unfortunately there was a little bit of wear on it, so I did pass on that. This was a really nice pair of Zaya pants. Um, I did end up giving these to Jack because I literally cannot do anything with Zaya. I cannot move it at all, and he can, so he'll get these. But they're a really cute little pair of joggers. I found this J. Crew vest that I think I gave to him as well. He takes a ton of J. Crew to our consignment store, and they market really well for him. I think this was a men's piece, and it has just like a little bit of a little bit of bin gunk on it. I found this really cute pair of Y2K green knit kind of like booty shorts. These are so popular on Depop. The girlies love these. They wear them with like a big old t-shirt. And then I found this pair of PacSun little fun shorts. You win some, you lose some. This is the only thing that I got out of that whole switch out was one Lululemon tank top. I kind of wanted this shirt. It gave me like bowling shirt vibes, but I ended up passing on it. It was a little cheapy, so no. There was a shoe rotation, and unfortunately all I found was this really rough condition fossil and these rough condition Eileen Fisher shoes. These, however, were adorable. These are actually J. Crew lace-up combat boots. I love these, and we have some extra laces at home. I am sobbing. I told you guys my goal was to find a pair of shoes like the kind that I arbitrage, and I have arbitraged a number of Todd's T-Bar loafers, and I only found one of these. I'm so bummed. Then I found a pair of Hoka's, but I think y'all can see why I didn't end up getting these just from this video clip. Then these were a pair of sandals that said made in Italy on the bottom, but the inside label was completely worn out and there was nothing on the bottom, so I thought I would Google reverse search them and they actually ended up being Aquitalia, but they were just in too bad a shape and Aquitalia doesn't have that much value, so I skipped them. The style on these was adorable, but they were just that M.I.A. Mia brand, so I offered them to Ryan if he wants to sell them on Depop. These Sam Edelmans were in pretty rough shape, so I did throw those back, but I just kind of grabbed shoes in a hurry, so that's why these ended up in my cart in the first place. These are a pair of Clark's boots that I actually thought were really cute and super nice leather. They're like an oxblood plum purple, so I did grab those. These I googled, and they have no value, which I assumed, but I just thought I'd check because they're in good condition. And then this is a pair of Jeffrey Campbells that I gave to Ryan. Google Pile is stacking up, so let's do a little cart update. This is, of course, my consignment pile. This is a really, really adorable J. Jill that I got to consign. This is a super, super soft Gap cardigan that I'm also going to consign. And, of course, I've actually consigned these, and they did take both. This is a hat by a brand I didn't know, and it's not worth anything. Somebody threw me this really fun little raccoon. I thought it was Miko from Pocahontas, but I kind of changed my mind, so I threw it back. Um, and then look at this really funny little Y2K top that Jack found that I just immediately had to snatch. This pair of hunter boots, like that other pair of hokas, like, I just don't have the space, I don't have the time. They weren't, like, in horrible condition, unlike the hokas, but I just, like, I couldn't do it. I had to leave them. So Jack and I did a things rotation, which is kind of rare for us, and he found this light bright that I immediately snatched from him. The kids in my classroom are going to love this. They're super into, like, vintage toys and things. And I found this really amazing Bemidji Woolen Mills, which is a town up north Minnesota, and they have all these really high-end woolen mills up there and they've been up there for like ever and this is one of the um stuffed animals that came from one and i looked these up and they're like 150 bucks this my best friend just had a baby so i'm going to be sending this to her it is a book about a pug that ruins this family's vacation and the last page is him like letting one rip so funny and i also found this really cute if you give a mouse a cookie stuffed animal Okay, a little cart update after a switch out. This is a pair of smart wool, really nice br brown, black wool tights. And I did do a double check and there are no holes, which is honestly shocking. These usually have a ton of holes in them, but either way, I pick them up. They sell no matter what. Very excited to find those. <laughs> I don't know if I ever showed you guys this pair of black Kate Spade pumps. Well, I only found one, and then I ended up finding the other one, which is super exciting. So I now have these two beautiful black Kate Spade shoes. This next dress, I 
saw in the bins rotation and I was like, oh, for sure it's going to be gone. Thankfully, it was not. It is a Draper James RSVP, which I, I am not mistaken, I think is her Kohl's line. I don't really know, though, to be completely honest. Um, really beautiful little polka dot dress. Found this really fun vintage 1970s, like, crochet, macrame, mushroom, a little psychedelic vest. These always do really good on Depop. I ended up finding this really funny pair of old, I think they were supposed to be like lounge shorts at one point, but they were like a Coca-Cola themed. They were just a little bit too worn though, so I did end up passing on those. And Jack threw this to me. It's a Trina Turk, really beautiful one-piece bathing suit. I honestly thought it was going to be a Poochie when he first found it because it's just like that crazy vibrant and it's so well made still. This is a really cute little Urban Outfitters sweatshirt that I ended up finding in the bottom corner of a bin that had already been looked through. I absolutely love this color. I think this kind of like rugged 90s look is going to do super good on Posh and Depop. And Jack found a Johnny West bag. So this last round of stuff is actually stuff that I do think is going to do much better on Depop. For example, this beautiful hand-painted lemur tote bag. I saw this there, I made direct eye contact with him, and I immediately had to have it. This is a really cute 1978 Snoopy San Francisco t-shirt. It did have a teeny little stain on it, but I really wasn't that mad. It was also on a vintage Champion t-shirt, which I thought was hysterical. This is a beautiful 1940s to 1950s silk blend robe of some variety. It's super pretty. I just need to kind of like put a little bit of TLC into it, but this embroidery on the back is amazing. And then I ended up finding another um, woolen mill skirt. I do not know where this one's from, somewhere in Canada, but it was this beautiful red buffalo check knife pleated skirt. Jack threw me these really amazing BDG snake skin little pants, but unfortunately they did have a spot on them, so I did have to throw these back. This is a really nice Vanessa Virginia, which is an anthropology brand that I haven't really found too much of recently, but I loved this little white lace top. I think this could be a, a very good cottagecore candidate. This I ended up giving to Jack to take to the consignment store. It is a little chaser, like, swim cover-up, beach, lightweight dress. I thought it was cute. This is an adorable BB Dakota by Steve Madden, which I don't know why. I never remember that BB Dakota is owned by Steve Madden, but this little peach sweater I thought was so cute, and it was in such good condition, so I absolutely had to have it. This is a really, really, really nice Uniqlo coat. This is actually for me. It's a men's large. It's one of their packable down coats, and I freaking love it. I've worn this thing like four times already. This was just a really nicely woven rug, but unfortunately it did have some spots on it, so I did end up throwing it back. This little piece of wood I got for Debbie to make as her Christmas gift. Then I found this amazing exhilaration, which is old Target, little Y2K mesh tank top. And the design on this thing is just like, chef's kiss. I also found another really amazing Y2K top. This one is one of those like scrunchy tops. These always do so good for me. And this one, like the funkier the colors, the better. So this is a brand that I ended up finding in the last switch out. It's Roan. And I knew I had heard of it before, but I didn't realize how expensive it was. But if you ever find this, it is a very good men's bolo. I found this apron and right away I just knew what it was and sure enough it is a gingham floral patch apron that is by Anthropology. It doesn't say Anthro but it has 66170RN which is Anthro's. I'm digging, I'm in the bins and I'm digging. Does anyone know the reference? I'm singing, I'm in a store and I'm singing.
Well, that bin was rough, but I did find these Athleta leggings that are very, very cute and they're extra large tall, so they're a great size. They are flared wide leg leggings. Finally, something good from this rotation. I found this something or other big knotted looped sweater and it's Anthropology New Tag, so I'll take it whatever it is. Melakalikimaka is the thing to say. This thing must be so old. When I was a little toddler, I had a Barney that I would never let go of, so this is nostalgic. Also, just a PSA reminder, always get Monster High dolls if they are the dolls, especially if they're older. Another freaking Peppa Pig. I feel like I found her every time I've come recently. This is made of silk, you fool. I never do Fabletics myself, but I just think that this hat is so cute and it's so soft. It's Chanel, so I'm gonna try it. Or Zaya, thank you to Ryan, and these are one of my favorite, favorite Zaya styles. They are some kind of joggers. I forget the exact style name, but I've had them a number of times in many colors, and they do so well. Another rotation. Here's to hoping that this is a good one. This little pouch is Vintage Coach, and it actually says Made in Italy, which surprises me. Another rotation of the miscellaneous and home goods, so let's take a look. Debbie is a big penguin lover, so I bet she'd get this if she was here. More penguins. Oh my gosh, she will not leave me alone right in the nostalgia it is a light bright i remember i had the cube four-sided light bright Ugh. i'd rather be someone's shot of tequila than everybody's cup of tea i love that also found a polo ralph Lauren little bear and some vintage halloween cardboard cutout wall decor yes I was holding off on showing you guys the other one of these because i had a single but i found the second rothy and they're real. Heck yes. Though the other week this habitat had a Debbie in an Evan hunting for prey, now it is this man named Ryan. He's hunting for things that'll make him money. Will he find anything? Who knows? Unfortunately, the Mara Meko Target collab does not have much value, but these little flowers remind me of the Spongebob flowers, which I love. I don't even remember taking this clip, but I guess we're going for a little cart drive. Now she's sending her friends after me. Somebody please get help. Whew, this cart is getting full. I think it is time to do some sorting. I just grabbed a few more things, but let's go through what I just got, and then let's go through the stuff that is not sorted yet, and then I think it might be time to go. So I grabbed this Chico's Metallic Silver Blazer Jacket that I'm going to try to consign. I feel like they'll take it. Hopefully they do. I do like the metallic silver material. I also grabbed this pair of Loft Side Stripe Jeans, which is also for consignment. I just thought they were cute, and they definitely seem pretty current. Wow, I wonder why they didn't sell at Goodwill. $14.99. This was a good grab. It is a Free People Waffle Knit Thermal Sweater. This, I think, was priced at like 11 or 12 at Goodwill, so I can see why that didn't sell either. Oh, 13, even worse. So I'm glad to get it at the bins, and I now understand why it got here. This is a pair of Athleta jeans. These were not even priced for some reason. I've only tried Athleta jeans once, and they actually sold really quickly, but they were a good size. This is kind of my second time trying them. 
Now this coat I was so torn on. It is super, super high quality wool and it was like new condition and it was by H by Halston, which is sold at Macy's and department stores. And I was gonna get it to consign. It's gonna cost me like six bucks and I think I'm gonna do it. <sighs> I'm not crying, you are. Ryan got himself a new jacket. It's Uniclub. And he got 70 pounds worth of stuff. 72. Or 70 dollars. 72 dollars. Little bag of clothes, little bag of shoes. Some and fun things. Mine was only 103, so which bad. is not bad. That's like, every time I go to the consignment store once a week, I feel like I get 100 dollars. Yeah. So. I feel like I'll definitely be able to make 70 bucks back. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, back home now. My back hurts from that. It is actually a different day for us. You might be able to tell that we are in different clothing That's than okay. we were wearing in the thrift with us. But we are actually sitting down right now to film the haul of all of the lovely things that you just saw us grabbing. So look uh. forward to that this next Thursday. We're going to show you the stuff we got at the bins this week. Otherwise, thank you guys so much uh. for joining us on another thrift with I us. I love those videos. It was exciting to That's do fun. another one of the two of us. It's been like a hot minute since it was just us two. It's been a long time. Yeah. Like, it's been a long time. We've since been we've to done... the bins, obviously, together, yeah. but, like, we haven't done a thrift with us together for a while. It takes a little bit more effort to, like, film, because you want to make sure you're, like, getting everything, but you also want to make sure you're, like, getting all your clips. Yeah. I'm glad it worked out. Yes. I had a good time. And that was a very eventful day. Yes, it was. <laughs> so, it was, like, it was filming, it was shopping, and it was a handful of things happening all at the same time. Anyways, anyway, that was stressful, <laughs> but... Thank you guys for joining us. Let us know as usual in the comments. Do you want to see us do more thrift with us in the future? Because yes. we love to do them. It's so fun to be able to show you guys like the weird, the crazy, the kooky, and then just some stuff that like we skip because obviously yeah. like we can't show you that otherwise. No. So it's nice to be able to show you. And I think that's about it. So stay tuned until Thursday for the thrift with us haul. Yes. And then next week, as I said, we got some fun, crazy, bedazzly, bedangly, oh, we have so many fun things. shiny, shimmery bolos happening. So we'll see you guys on Thursday. I forgot what day it is already. Bye. Goodbye.